Okay, today I'm going to show you how to get add-ons for forms. The add-ons will actually help creating forms and collecting the data from the forms much more seamless. So to get add-ons, you have to go up to this, these three dots, the ellipsis, and click on that. Scroll down to add-ons. And as you can see, there are several add-ons. Um, we aren't going to be discussing this add-on today, but if you create um, math assignments, this new add-on helps you um, with complex formulas and um, graphing and things like that in your form. So first one we're going to add will be form notifications. So you just click on free and scroll down to the bottom and click allow. And then this will uh, lead you to a link where you can get tutoring um, or some ideas of how to use it. So click got it. Go back to the ellipsis. Add-ons. Um, form limiter is the another one that we're going to get. Wow. Again, another tutorial. Got it. And it's showing you this puzzle piece right here. That's where you'll access your add-ons once you get them. And there are four all together. So the third one is Choice Eliminator. Whoops. If you click on it, it'll give you a preview. Scroll down and click Allow. And again, another tutorial. You can click Got It. By the way, there are a lot of YouTube videos on different ways to use these add-ons. And the next one, um, I don't see it right here. Here it is, Form Recycler. You can always type it in the search menu. There, for forms, there aren't that many add-ons, so and there are only one page worth. All right, so now we have our add-ons. I want to show you how you can use them. Now, I've created a form. It has a lot of different types of questions. This definitely would not be a form you would use, but it collects the email address, and that will be uh, used for the form response add-on that we got. This one right here, you could use this for um, getting times signups for parent-teacher conferences. You could send it out through Remind um, or put it on your website if you want and parents can just click on the link for the form and select their time. Um, and then I put some questions in here, right or wrong questions, just to show you a couple features. Um, so once you get your form ready to go and you want to click add-ons, um, this first one right here, Choice Eliminator, this one right here will eliminate those choices that we have here for the dates and times for the parent conferences. So once a parent chooses a time, that slot will be eliminated and it won't appear for the next parent who's trying to schedule um, their conference. So what's nice about that is it's first come first serve, so if someone's in the middle of selecting a time, and they get distracted, they go back and let's say they wanted this 130 spot and someone got it while they were, you know, distracted with a conversation or whatever. When they come back, that spot will be gone and they'll get a notice. It'll say, oh, this slot is gone. Choose another. So um, it is definitely real time, first come, first serve. So eliminate choices. Um, all you have to do is click on the one that you want to eliminate. So if you, if you, change your mind you just uncheck it um, but once you check it it'll create the elimination and once it's done creating it'll be ready to go all right so let's close that now as you can see I'm filling it in fictitiously and I've already submitted three other responses so you'll notice now that I'm down to just these times and days 
um, for parent-teacher conferences. The two 1.30 spots have been taken on Monday and Tuesday, and a 3 o'clock spot on Tuesday has been taken. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the 2.30 on Monday. And we'll click the right answer here. Must come. Click the right answer here. And let's see. And choose favorite animal. Okay, now that I've got four responses in there, let's go back to our form. And you'll see what's left on the form are these four choices. And you saw how many choices there were before. So you can go to the responses and see a summary of the responses, oh, 25%. So this really isn't, it doesn't tell you much other than these were the times and these were the times that were taken. Um, this actually tells you if you were giving this as a quiz or a homework assignment, 75% of the class got it correct, one student didn't. Most of the students got this correct. We have one little smart aleck here. Um, and then for these responses, this is the correct answer. That is not. And then here you could do a poll for favorite ice cream. There's also a, an option of a Likert scale, so it would uh, print out something like that as well. And then favorite pets. So it's just one way of looking at the data. You can also look at it individually and see what each person chose. Now it's not going to show this because it was eliminated so that'll actually show up on our spreadsheet and Google Forms no longer automatically creates a spreadsheet so to see one you just simply click on the green button and you can see that it collected the email addresses and here are the responses and these are some responses from another day the 26th as well. Here are your times for your parent conference. Now this is kind of jumbled to make it so that you can see it to wrap the text. You would click on the top row, push shift, and click on the bottom row, and then go up here, text wrapping, and then this right here is the symbol for wrapping the text. So then you can see all of the information easily. It's easier to print it out this way as well. So let's go back and check out some of the other add-ons. Okay, here we are back in our form. Here's our add-ons. We've already added the choice eliminator. So let's look at the form notifications. Form notifications does two things. One, you can make it notify you each time someone responds to the form, every 10 times, every five times. It, I believe this goes up to 20, oh, it goes up even higher. So you can pretty much set this to whatever you like um, so that you know when more responses are coming in. Let's say you're only waiting for two more students um, to finish the homework assignment. So th this will email you a response. If you click on Notify Respondents, you can actually have the respondents receive a thank you or um, Whatever you would like to put in here, this is the default message. You can change the message however you like. And as you saw in the spreadsheet, it did collect their email address, and I made this a required question, so they can't submit the form without putting their email address in right there. Another, uh, the third add-on is Form Limiter. And the thing that's nice about Form Limiter is you can set it to where it stops on a certain day and a certain time. No longer will it accept submissions. Or you can do a maximum number of responses. So, for example, you want to have an after-school robotics program, and you want to open it up for the first 15 students who respond. After 15, nobody else can submit. It won't accept it. Um, so that's kind of nice. You can also limit it to a cell in the spreadsheet. So when cell um, A2, and you have to make sure you type it in this format, when A2 equals 20. It, it's very similar to um, to the response setting for the amount. So you can play around with that one. 
And then the last one is the form recycler. And this is awesome. This is where you can take questions from any forms and build a new form. So you're not having to reinvent the wheel. You, I can go to this form right here and any of the questions I want on here, I can add it to the form that I'm currently working in or open a brand new form and add those questions in that form. So here it's listing all of the questions that I have on this particular form. So if I don't want to, you know, how do you want me to contact you? If I want to put that on a couple different forms at the beginning of the school year or even during the conference, someone can sit and fill that out while they're waiting for their conference. Um, I can just pull it from this form right here. Now, as you can see, I don't have very many forms in this particular account. This is my demo account, but those are the four add-ons that I think you can utilize and will give you the best um, tools for creating forms and collecting the data. One last piece I want to show you is now on the sheets down here at the bottom where it says explore. This is another area where you can get data information. You can actually print these out for parents. So here's the question, the math question. And this is the responses for what goes up must come down. This is the atmosphere question. And so they, they organize this in different types of graphs, which are make it a little more understandable, maybe for the students or for yourself. And there's an add-on that you can use in here. It's called Fluberoo, and there's actually a tutorial on my website for Fluberoo. But basically, you can create a homework assignment or a quiz and go in and take the quiz and create that as your key, and it will automatically correct the work of all submissions. So it's then when you open it up, you know exactly how many students got each of the questions right or wrong and you'll you'll have more focus on what you want to uh, reteach. So I hope that helps. If you have any more questions about add-ons, my extension is 5924 or you can email me at rmacdonald at ewcsd.org. Have a great day.